Hi, hey, so here we have one more problem which can be solved using LCM or GCD. So the problem statement says, Uncle Terry vacuums his car every seven days. He washes his car every three days. He did both cleaning on 2nd January. When will be the next date? He has to do both types of cleanings. So to understand it better, let me make a calendar of January. January has 31 days and what they are saying Uncle Terry vacuums his car every seven days and he washes his car every three days he did both cleaning on 2nd of January so if he washes his car on 2nd of January when will he wash his car next he washes his car every three days so on third day from 2nd January that is one two three on fifth he will wash it again and He'll wash his car again on 8th and then he'll wash his car on 11th and then he'll wash his car on 14th every third day he's washing and then he'll wash on 17th and then he'll wash on 20th and then he'll wash on 23rd, 26th and 29th and next he'll wash on this day that will be 1st of February. And he vacuums his car every seven days and last he vacuumed was on 2nd of January. Again we'll start from 2nd of January. On 2nd of January he has vacuumed his car. I'm putting green dots now and next he'll vacuum after seven days that means on 9th 2 plus 7 9 and next he'll vacuum on 16th and next he'll vacuum on 23rd and after this he'll vacuum on 30th right so on second he has done both types of cleanings he has vacuumed as well as washed his car on 2nd of January and next time when he is doing both types of cleaning on the same day is 23rd of January right so we can solve it using this calendar drawing these kind of dots or calculating manually and then solve it but there is a smart way of doing this and that smart way involves mathematical calculations right so see uncle terry vacuums his car on every seventh day in every seven days he vacuums his car once so the number of days after which he is vacuuming his car is actually a multiple of seven. First time after second january he vacuums his car on 9th which is exactly after seven days from 2nd of January and second time he vacuums on 16th which is exactly 14 days that is 7 multiplied by 2 after 2nd of January and third time he vacuums is on 23rd which is exactly 21 days after the 2nd of January and similarly he washes his car in every three days right so he washes his car on 5th after 2nd of January which is 2 plus 3 and next time he washes is on 8th which is 6 days after 2nd of January that is 3 multiplied by 2 so the number of days between these two dates will be actually a multiple of both 3 and 7 so the number of days after which he does both types of cleanings on his car will be actually a multiple of 3 and 7 isn't it yes and since we want to find the next day on which he is doing both types of cleaning will be a least multiple of 3 and 7 that means the next time when he does both these types of cleaning on the same day will arrive after LCM of 3 and 7 number of days because we are trying to find the next time when he does both types of cleaning on the same day. So the LCM of 3 and 7 will find using division method. Both of them are prime number. So first we'll divide it by 3. 3 ones are 3. 7 will not get divided by 3 because 7 is also a prime number. So it will get divided by 7. 7 ones are 7. So LCM of 3 and 7 is will be 3 multiplied by 7 that is 21 so next time he does both types of cleaning on the same day will be after 21 days and the date after 21 days will be 21 
plus 2 that is 23. So the date after 21 days will be equal to 2 plus 21 that is 23rd of January. Right? And that is what we found when we calculated the day manually. So this was an example which was solved by using LCM and after this video we are going to learn few relations or few additional properties of LCM and HCF and then we will solve problems based on those properties. So bye bye till then.